Hey guys, uh, Caesar here. I know it's been a while since we've talked, uh, or uh, watched me talk, whatever. You know, if you interact behind the screen, cool. Um, hey, but you know, today I want to go over a little something that uh, you know that, that I've definitely been seeing a lot. You know, in my own clients and myself. You know, and you know, with people inside of the gym, and you know, and not just in the gym. You know, and other things. You know, like uh, you know, jujitsu and things like that. Um, you know, so the topic of you know feeling burnt out, right? So. You know, we, we all, you know, obviously like going to the gym, you know, or, you know, competing in our sport or whatever it is. And, uh, you know, there just comes a time where you just, you know, you don't get excited to go anymore, right? And, you know, it's weird for you because, you know, you used to get super excited to go and, you know, you used to be happy and, okay, cool, you know, it's time. You know, and then now, you know, you're not getting that feeling. You're kind of like, oh, man, I don't really want to go today. Or you go because, you know, you're, you have to go, you know, it's just part of your routine. But that excitement and that feeling of, oh my God, I can't wait, you know, it's kind of gone, right? And that's normal, okay? So don't think you're weird or don't think you're crazy. You know, that's really normal to get burnt out on, you know, whatever it is, right? If it's, you know, running, if it's uh, exercising, you know, lifting weights, you know, things like that. You know, that's completely normal. <clears throat> you know, you just, you do something for so long that it just becomes real monotonous and real boring. And it's kind of like, man, this again this again, and then your body starts getting beat. So now it's tired and your body knows it's going to get, you know, not hurt, but you know, it's going to be worked and you know it's going to get fatigued and your body's like, man, I don't want to really feel like doing this, right? So mentally you're like, dude, I don't want to go, what the heck? Um, you know, but I, I just want to give you guys some suggestions to do. You know, number one, you know, take time off. Seriously, I mean, take time off. If you need time off in order to recover, take time off. You know, uh, one of my clients, um, you know, recently, uh, we've been doing a lot. We've been training a lot. She was working out five times a week and, uh, you know, she did a half marathon and then followed by another run and, you know, she's just, you know, real burnt out right now, right? Like she doesn't feel like going, you know? So she pulled me aside, talked to me and said, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm not feeling it. I'm not motivated. Right. And we talked and, you know, so we're changing up the programming this next week, right? Instead of, uh, you know, a lot of cardiovascular movements, you know, we're going to focus more on weightlifting because that's what. You know, she wants to do, you know, that excites her. So we're changing up the plan, right? That's what we're going to do for her in order for her to feel excited and feel motivated to get there, right? Uh, previous to this, she taken off, you know, a few days from the gym, which is good. You know, I highly suggest it. Uh, I know myself, I took two months off of weightlifting completely. I felt so burnt out. My joints hurt. My body hurt. And I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. And I went two months, you know, no weightlifting. All I did were my push-ups, my pull-ups, my running, uh, some boxing, some jiu-jitsu, things like that. But I stayed active. But I didn't do the, you know, the weightlifting because I just felt too burnt out. You know, and now, you know, I started lifting weights again and I'm getting excited, right? And, and I'm getting those gains, you know, I'm getting stronger and, and it makes me happy again. You know, but it took two months of me straying away from it in order to want to come back to it. <clears throat> and it, it goes like that with everything, you know, and, and everything that I've ever done, I go through phases, you know, I'll be real happy and I like it super much. And, and that's not, that's not a word. That's not proper grammar. Uh, I like it a lot. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, as time passes, you know, I start feeling beat and beat and beat. And then, you know, I just switch off and I taper to something else. So, you know, here recently running was, uh, running was my thing that that's what I enjoy doing. And now I'm so burnt out on running. I don't ever want to run again. And, you know, now I'm, I'm back to, uh, back to the way that thing, like I just said. So, <clears throat> so, you know, it's just alternating the physical activities, you know, but you definitely don't want to just take, you know, two months off and not doing anything, right? If you burn out from weightlifting, you know, take, take off some time, you know, don't weightlift, try, try doing other movements, right? Try doing like cardiovascular movements, try doing like, uh, you know, like the CrossFit stuff, right? Like, so instead of strict, you know, weightlifting, you know, now we're doing, you know, the wall balls and the burpees and the box jumps and things like that. You know, just something that makes it different and kind of exciting, kind of fun, something new, you know. Uh, you know, go to your local, you know, classes, you know, try try sport, right? Try like a, uh, like a boxing or like a Muay Thai or, you know, some type of combat sport. You know, that's fun. Uh, you know, that'll get you motivated until you get burned out on that. And then, you know, same thing, alternate, alternate, alternate. But just remember to stay active. You know, don't completely, you know, don't completely shut down and say, you know, forget exercising because that's bad. We don't ever want to do that. So, you know, just alternate. Find something that makes you happy. Find something that you enjoy, you know, but don't stop, you know, being active, right? Uh, if you have a trainer or a coach or something, you know, talk to them. If you're feeling burnt out and you don't feel like going, tell them. Tell them, hey, man, you know, honestly, 
I, I used to, you know, really enjoy this. And here lately, you know, it's just real, you know, just the same thing over and over and over. And I feel like my body's getting beat, you know. Talk to the coach. See what they can do. You know, can you change it up? Can we try new things? Can we do this? Can we do that? You know, just communication, guys. Just, I mean, have fun with whatever you're doing. You know, you have to enjoy it. If, if you're to the point where you're not having fun and you're not enjoying it and, and it's just not something that you're liking, I mean, you're not going to get, you know, you're not going to get results. You're not going to get, you know, that that peak fitness level that you're trying to get. You're not going to get, you know, as much out of it as you would enjoying it. So, you know, give it a try, guys, and, uh, you know, let me know. Uh, if you guys need any suggestions on things to do instead of, you know, your normal routine, you know, let me know. Uh, uh, you guys have a good one. Uh, I'm stuttering too much. See you guys.